Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making a landing page for our website, and this is the page that we are going to make. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do it right now. I am very close to 8000 subscriber. So here's a HTML that we wrote on last video, and CSS as well. There is nothing much we have wrote in last video, we only learn how to make a glass morphism effect on last video. And let's see in browser what we have done up to. So this is a glass effect that we did on our last video. So to make this glass effect, go to my channel videos, and click the latest video I uploaded, or you can search for how to make a glass morphism effect on my channel, and learn it properly, so you will not have any problem here. And today I have a folder with an extra photo of this person 2.png, and all are same as before. So first of all what we will do is, make our main background image blur, and add a same image that we use on main background on top of this glass. So come to CSS file. You can see there's a backdrop filter on class glass effect. Select it and cut that whole thing and paste it on a body. Save it and refresh your page, you will see your background has changed to somewhat of blurriness. And after doing this we will add an image on our glass, so for that come to CSS file again, copy the top three lines from body, that is background image, position and size. And paste it on class glass effect, so let me add some space, so that you can see what things I have moved. So I will show you again, copy the top three lines and paste on class glass effect. Now when you saved it and refresh your page, you can see our background image on glass as well. Now let's make a proper size of our glass to start adding some content. Make a width of 920 pixels. And height of 530 pixels. So when you refresh your page you can see a perfect glass size. So okay now what we will do is, add a logo on left top corner, and add some menu on top right corner with a small profile photo. So now come to HTML file, create a nav tag. And then put a h1 tag, with a class equals to logo, cause we are making logo inside this h1 tag. Now write your logo name let's say plan a, save it, and refresh your page, you can see your logo. Now we will add some menu, for that we add a unordered list, inside list tag, and inside anchor tag, now copy it three times and add name of menu, let's say home. About. Service. And at last contact. Saved it and refresh your page, you can see your menus. Before using CSS on our navbar, let's make auto margin and padding to zero. And add a font family of cursive. So when you save it and refresh your page, you can see a font change and auto padding and margin set to null. Now come to CSS, we will work for class logo. This is the class that we created in HTML, let me show you. Now copy it. And come to CSS file, write dot that is class and write logo. Add a color of white, to make its size bigger we will write, font size of 35 pixels. And give a float equals left to move it left. And at last give a cursor equals pointer, so that it doesn't show a cursor for text type. So now when you save it and reload your page, you can see some difference. Now we will work on this navbar, we will add some padding and others, so come to CSS, work for nav tag. Add a display of flex, so it will fill the available space, and shrink them to prevent the overflow, now save it reload the page, and see the difference. Now come to CSS and add an align item to center, and at last add a padding, that is, for top, and bottom be 10 pixels and for left and right be 5%, save. It and reload your page, you can see a major difference now, it is coming to right place. Now we want this menus to move on the right side and display horizontally, so for that come to CSS, and work for nav tag, inside unordered list. So I wrote this from HTML file. Let me show you, here it is. So now write flex equal to 1. This means the size of all of the other elements will have the same width as their content, and then write text align equals to right, that is right alignment as you all know. 
so when you refresh it, you will see our menu has moved to right side. Now we want to remove this bullet and also want to make it sit horizontally, for that, come to CSS and work for nav tag inside unordered list, inside list. To remove bullets, write list style equals none. And to make them all in line, write display equals in line block. So when you refresh it, you can see some changes. To add some space between these menu, we will use margin. So come to CSS and write margin of zero pixel for top and button, cause we don't want to add any margin on them, and then add 20 pixels for left and right. Now when you reload it, you will see a menu place perfectly. Now to remove these underline and to add some colors. Go to CSS and write nav tag with unordered list, inside list and anchor tag. Now write text decoration be none, to remove underline. Save it and refresh your page, you can see we have removed those underline. And now to add color, write color equals to black. Save it, and reload your page. Here you can see we have changed it to black color as well. Now we will add some hover effect, so for that. Just copy these, paste it, and add a colon hover. Then write color equals to white, and then add transition equals to 0.2 seconds to, make it smoother. Now save it, and reload your page. You will see a perfect navbar with hovering menus. Now there's only one thing left to add, that is an image. So come to HTML file, just below the unordered list. Write image tag and inside source write the image name, that is 2.png. Let me show you the image, so this is my image for profile, and write profile and alt. So as you can see we have our image inside image tag. So come to CSS and work for image tag. Add a width of 30 pixels. And height of 30 pixels as well. And then reload your page you can see your profile or image in there. Now let's add some border for that come to CSS. Add a border radius of 50%. So this will make a circular image profile, which will look more amazing. So when you reload your page you can see we have our circular profile image. So that's all for our nav bar, now we move on to our main content or description part. So to add a description in here. Come to HTML side, below the end of nav tag, create a dip with a class of info. And then add a h2 tag. Then write some content let's say, travel before you run out time. Now save it and refresh your page, you can see it. So, let's give a break over here, come to HTML, add a BR tag between OFF and time. Reload the page, here it looks more beautiful. Now we will add small description, for that, add a H4 tag. Then write, a world is a book and those who do not travel read only a page. Reload it and see, we will also add some breaks in here. So come to HTML. So add a BR tag in here and over here. Now refresh your page. Now we will add a line that says your choice. Come to HTML, add a paragraph tag, give lot of dashes in between write your choice. Save it and reload it. Here you can see it looks good. Now we will add some margin and padding to place it on right place. So come to CSS, we will work for this class info now. Write dot that is class info. Right margin left equals 30 pixels. And padding equals to 18 pixels. Reload your page, you can see it has moved little bit right on perfect place. Now we will make this your choice a white color, for that come to CSS write p tag. 
then give a color equals to white. Reload your page, you will see a good content here. Now we will add a button just below it, so come to HTML side, below the P tag, write button tag, with type equals to button. Then let's call this button book now. Save it and reload your page, right now it doesn't look that good, so now we will add some padding and some hover effects, for that come to CSS. Work for button tag. Add a cursor of pointer, cause we don't want button to show text cursor, and add a text decoration equals to none, to remove the underline from book now phrase. And let's add some padding that would be, 6 pixels for top and bottom and 16 pixels for left and right, that would make a perfect clickable button, so now refresh your page and see. Now let's make our font size little bigger for that. Add a font size of 18 pixels, then add a color equals to white. Then add a background color of black. Refresh your page and see the difference. So here we are seeing some unnecessary border and outline. So come to CSS and write border equals to zero. And outline equals to zero as well. And give. A font family of cursive that is similar with all our font. Refresh you page and see some difference that we made. Now we will remove this sharp edges for that, right border radius of 5 pixels. So as you can see it looks more perfect. Now only thing left in this button is a simple hovering effect, so for that, come to CSS, add a button tag with a colon hover. Then give a background color of white, and give a color of text equals to black, and also add some transition on button to make it look smoother, while clicking. That is let's say 0.2 seconds save it and reload your page now we have our perfect button now we are not too far for end of this page design so now we will add a small discount text and also add some social media icons on right side so for that we need a font awesome cdn so now go to google and search for font awesome cdn Then click the first link you get, that is set up web font with CDN, font awesome. Then scroll down when you have this page, come up to load all styles. Then just copy this link to CSS only, don't have to copy all, just copy up to CSS. Then come to HTML file. And then paste it below the style.css link, and don't forget to give an end symbol. So after doing this come down and create a new dip inside the same class info, below the button tag. Create a dip with a class let's say icons. Add a p tag inside, and then write dashes inside 15% off. So refresh your page, and you can see your text. Now come to HTML, and add an unordered list tag with list tag inside. Then come to font awesome website again. Come up or scroll up, and then, Click the icon button on navbar. Then you will have this page. Search for Facebook or any other icons you would like to add. Then copy this HTML. And come to HTML file and paste it between those list tag. Refresh your page and you can see your logo, like you can see a Facebook logo in mine. You can make as many copy as you want, and write a different name of logo. Then save it, and reload your page you will see your logo in your page. Now we will do some CSS and move it to right side. Come to CSS and work for this class icons. Write display equals flex, so you already know what flex does. Refresh your page and see difference. So I think I have done some error making dip. So yes as I have told you put this dip of class icons inside the dip of class info, not outside. So now it should be on perfect place, let's reload again and see. So after doing this we will move this social media icons on right side, to do this we be doing same thing that we did on navbar. Come to CSS, work for class icons, unordered list tag. 
give a flex equals 1 like we did on navbar, and text align be right, to move it on right alignment like before. So refresh your page, it will move on right side. Now to remove these bullets, we will work for class icons, unordered list, inside list tag. Write list style of none. And display the inline block to make those icons inline. And also, add some margin of 0 pixel on top and bottom and 20 pixels on left and right, and padding also same 0 pixel and 20 pixels. Now when you refresh your page you can see a better icon's placement. Now we will increase size of it, and give a color at last. So come to CSS, write all those you wrote before and at last just add I. Give a text decoration of none. To remove underline of icons. And color be white. Font size be 18 pixels. And at last cursor be pointer. So we have finished our coding, let's check our page for last time. Save it and refresh your page. So I hope you have learned something new today, and I would like to thank you all for your support, need few more support to get 8000 subscribers, so please do like and subscribe my channel, and if you have any question, do write on the comment section below. So see you in next video, bye all for today.